Thanks to computers, the video you're watching right now can be archived by you or Discovery or YouTube or DNews or me, but for how long? Hey y'all, Trace here for DNews, and we have lost so much history. According to the Library of Congress, there were 10,919 major films made by major studios during the silent movie era of 1912 to 1929. Today, only 25% of those films remain according to a report they commissioned. And only 14% of those are in their original format. Why? Film isn't the easiest thing to take care of. In the 1920s, movies were made by exposing light to a strip of film turned by hand. And then a chemical process would reveal and stabilize the image. There weren't a lot of standards back then, though. And budgets dictated the film sizes in the stock. And that variability didn't allow for long-term storage. Some, like celluloid, were highly flammable. And others, like nitrocellulose film, they became explosive as they aged. As nitrocellulose decays, it gets all gooey, and it releases an explosive vapor before eventually turning into dust. This was one of the most common film stocks from the 1880s until the 1950s, which means that was not so great for film archivists. In 1978, both the U.S. National Archives and the George Eastman House, a film storage company, had spontaneously ignited fires that destroyed their whole film library. This stock is so dangerous to store, it's actually considered a controlled explosive substance. Aside from the possible death by explosive, film can get, it can get really heavy. It takes up a lot of space and it requires certain humidities and temperatures for safe storage. One possible way of archiving those old films was to transfer them to tape, but those are even suckier than you think. Tape formats like VHS and Beta degrade every single time they're played, and the tape itself inside that plastic cassette will slowly decay once it's exposed to air and humidity, which is pretty much all the time. Digital formats have solved some archiving headaches, but they're not really perfect either. Digital is easy to copy, but the physical media that they're stored on, that doesn't last forever. Digital formats are zeros and ones on a hard drive, so the easiest way to save your files is to put them in more than one place. For example, store a file on a hard drive and a backup hard drive and burn it to a CD. But even with that, you're still going to have issues over time. According to the Optical Storage Technology Association, an unrecorded CD lasts about 10 years. And once used, they're only going to last for five. And hard drives? Lifehacker says they only last seven or eight years when they're used, and that's if they're used rarely. Even the newest digital format, the cloud, is about as good as a real cloud at holding data. A survey by Symantec found 77% of companies using cloud services had data just disappear. It seems the best ways are the old ways. Companies like Epson and Kodak claim that their printed photos last 200 plus years. And if you get your next One Direction LP on vinyl, you'll get a shelf life of like 50 years or more, as long as they're not scratched or dusty or warped or, man, this sucks. If you want to protect your memories digitally, check your data every few months and replace the backup drives every few years or so. If you're using paper, buy a non-acid photo album or a scrapbook to keep the decay to a minimum and store all of your media, regardless of format, in a cool, dry place out of the sun. This is one of those times when you can say, they don't make them like they used to. Well, we only have 25% of them left. Silent film has survived almost 100 years in boxes and tins while a single hard drive can't even get a decade. Get it together, technology! How do you save your memories? Do you have a trick to share with us? Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more videos. And thanks for watching DNews.